Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand how to implement exception handling in Spring Boot REST API. So I'm going to take one REST API application with this architecture. It will have REST controller and it will have a service class. Controller is responsible to handle request and response. Service contains the business logic. I will send a request to the REST controller to retrieve the data. With the given ID, if the record is available, it will give the record as a response. With the given ID, if the record is not available, then it is going to throw the exception. When exception occurred, how we are going to handle that exception and how we will convey that information to the client in the meaningful way that we are going to learn as part of this. I'm going to take one Spring Boot application. If you see, I have taken a product class with variables, setters, getters, zero param constructor and parameters constructor, two string method I have added. I'm creating one interface with one abstract method. In this, I'm writing a method to retrieve the product record based on the product ID. With the given ID, if the record is available, it will return the product object. Otherwise, it will throw some exception. Let us implement this interface by creating implementation class. I'm writing some logic here. If the product ID is 101, then I'm going to return the some dummy product object with the data. If it is not matching with the given condition, then we are going to throw custom exception. I'm creating a custom exception class by using runtime exception. Here we are writing one parameter as a constructor. That constructor is invoking its superclass constructor. Now here I will throw that custom exception when the given condition not satisfied in our service implementation class. Throw new no product found exception with message no product found. Now I'm creating one product REST controller class. To represent this class as a REST controller, we are using get the rate REST controller annotation. In this class, we are writing the method to handle the request and response. I'm taking the product ID as a request parameter. That means in the URL, product ID will come to this method. This controller class should communicate with the service class. So we are injecting service by using auto wiring. So that controller can communicate with the service method. Product service dot find product by ID with the given ID. We are getting the ID as an input for our REST controller method from the URL, that ID we are giving to our service class method. Service class is expecting, service class method is expecting ID in the integer, but we have taken it as a string. So I'm parsing that integer dot parse into method. It is going to return the product object. Service method is returning the product object. Controller is also returning the product object. So directly I'm calling that method in the return statement. I'm mapping this method to the get request by using get mapping. This method will produce the response in the form of JSON. So I'm giving produces is equal to application slash JSON. So this is our REST controller with required get request method. Let us run this boot application, go to browser and send the get request to the given endpoint with the given product ID. As it is matching with the given ID, it is returning some response with the data. If I give the request with the 102, so which is not matching with our condition, then it is created a custom exception and it is throwing that custom exception. No product found exception. So here I have sent you a request for the REST controller. REST controller is accessing our service. Service is throwing the exception when the condition not satisfied. But where that exception is showing, it is showing only on the console. Now we need to handle that exception. For that I am going to create one exception handler class. I am representing this class as a global exception handler by using controller advice. I'm writing the method which is responsible to handle the exception. This method is responsible to return some meaningful exception details to the client. For that, I'm using response entity with some status code. I'm giving it as a bad request. When this method should be executed, this method should be executed whenever product not found exception occurred in our application. So at the rate exception handler annotation, I'm giving value is equal to no products exception dot class. That means this class is acting as a global exception handler in our application. Whenever no product found exception occurred, then immediately this method should be executed. This method is returning bad request as a response. Go to the postman, open postman to send a request so that we can understand what response code we are getting in the response. I'm sending a get request to the given URL. Now I got the response. I'm taking API error or we can use any name for that. I'm taking three variables here, error code, error description and date when that error occurred or exception occurred. Generating setters, getters, writing the constructor to initialize the variables. Now in our exception handler method, let us represent the data in the binding object and return that object as a response body. 
for every type of exception we are going to use some code so here i am using exception code and exception description on which date that exception occurred that object i am going to use in the response entity constructor to represent the response body for this constructor i am giving body and status objects as parameters what is the response body you want to send and what is the status code you want to send in the response when exception occurred in the application that's it so with this our global exception handler class is ready to handle no product found exception in our application so as per the diagram all the components are ready now get request will go to rest controller it will talk to service service will throw the exception then it will go to global exception handler class it will provide meaningful response to the client with this our global exception handler is ready and go to our now go to postman go to postman and send the request i'm giving 101 which is valid id it is giving the product data now let me give some other id when i send the request now see beautiful response we are getting what is the error code what is the error description and when that error occurred in the project and you can see the status code bad request we are getting so like this we can handle exceptions in our spring boot application using global exception handler concept